In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite and most efficient ways to line up vocals. So in this case, I have a session right here. This is the verse, by the way, and we have a main vocal, a dub, and an ad lib. I'm really going to be focusing on the main vocal and the dub. This sounds good, but there's some timing issues that I want to take care of. To do this, I'm going to use a plugin that I love called vocal line from Synchro Arts. This is our main vocal in track number 17. Then track number 18 is our double. So we're going to go to the double track number 18. I've already done some tuning with pitcher on each one of these slight tuning. So again, track number 18, we're going to open up vocal line six standard here. Now you can see we have a guide from sidechain, a double and an output. So what we need to do is go to the main vocal and side chain it to track number 18, which is the double. Highlight track number 17, right click this arrow on track number 18 and hit side chain to this track. So there's one other thing that we have to do with vocal line and FL Studios. Go to the plugin, go to the little cog wheel right here, go to settings, click on the processing tab and mono aux in. We want that to be on number one and then into the plugin there. So make sure that that's on number one and then that's turned on and you're good to go. Now what's cool about this in FL Studios is that you can create a template out of this. So let's say our template is pitcher or auto tune, whatever you're using for tuning and vocal line, you can create an entire mixer track state as after you've done those settings. So you don't have to do those annoying settings again, besides side chaining to this track where actually you could create a mixer template as well and everything could be side chained and all these settings could be in there. But if you want to just save this, right click on the track, go to file, go to save mixer track state as, and then we'll just say vocal tune plus vocal line. And now all those settings are saved. Whenever we want to drop it on another track, you could just right click, go to file. Your preset is right there in that list. And if you want to do just like a one off kind of save and just kind of fly things over to the next track that you want to line up vocals on, go to the track, go to vocal line six standard right here, click the drop down, click and hold save preset as, and then drop it on another channel. And it's going to come in with the same exact settings as well. So let's just focus on track number 18 again. All right. So now just to hear everything, we'll solo out 17 and 18, the main vocal and the dub. Click capture and then hit play at the beginning of that verse. There we have it. And you can see that it's already done a bunch of work down here. You don't have to do anything. It just does it automatically. It lines everything up automatically. So let's hit play. And as you hit play, it'll be playing in the session and inside vocal line lined up. Speaking at the side of your mouth like a ninja turtle. I see a target and I shoot. Just remove the hurdles. I've been up way too late. Sounds perfect. There's really nothing else to do. The only thing that with FL Studio is is that you have to listen and have that capture it in real time. I believe because there's no ARA functionality with FL Studio yet, which I think they're working on as a matter of fact. So when that happens, you won't even have to listen to it back in real time. But for me, it still saves me a ton of time from doing it manually because normally I would go into every single vocal, slice and dice, nudge everything, and it would take me so long especially if i had like four layers of vocal tracks or two layers in a verse and you know the song's five minutes long or four minutes long and you have three different verses and two different choruses with different doubles and different takes so then you can't just copy and paste things over you have to do those manually this saves a ton of time even though you have to listen to it back in real time and have it capture it it's a win-win for me in my eyes and just a couple other little tips that you can do inside here you have an undo button and a redo button you can click on this and you can change the size of the wave forms just personal preference if you click on this this is match timing you could do very very tight or you can make it a little bit more loose in milliseconds the alignment rule is normal flexibility here it gives you a little pop-up as to what it's actually doing it can choose the amount of flexibility and matching to the guide more flexibility means more edits and pitch can also be used for matching and then maximum shift it's the max time shifting for the dub usually unnecessary leave on no limit we're going to leave that and then you could choose high resolution only need Needed if editing high frequency pure tones we'll leave that off for now because i'm filming at the same time so it can get a little bit messy here you can actually adjust the pitch ranges so you can select guide pitch range to maximize speed and editing quality we're going to leave that as is because the pitch is just where i want it it's for the guide and for the dub you can create a preset here with all different settings yeah so let's listen to that in full context <laughs> Enough food on my plate. If you hate, then it's hard to relate. Getting paid, don't relate a message. Watch me skate, it's a rite of passage. Praise me when I'm giving blessings. 
Vocal line has saved me a ton of time, and I'm going to continue to use it in all of my vocal sessions, which I do a lot of. So if you want to try a vocal line for yourself, and by the way, they're running a huge deal for Black Friday and the end of the year, where it's up to 50% off everything, subscriptions, plugins, you name it. They have a ton of stuff, so go check it out in the link down in the description. And as always, make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.